Today we're going to be working on the 2009 Honda Pilot. Um, we'll be performing an oil change as well as an engine flush and we'll be using Liquid Molly and engine flush and the Liquid Molly 5W20 as well as a Bosch oil filter. Now the reason I chose Bosch is because according to the reviews basically the Bosch oil filter would actually perform better than the original manufactured uh, Honda oil filter. So today I decided to give it a try and see how the Bosch filter is going to work out. First things first, I put one safety stand on the driver's side and you can see here that lip over here, that's exactly where you're going to put that safety stand. There's also a safety stand over here, right at the lip over here. So just be sure that you have this placed properly. Um, I can't stress that enough, you don't want to have that thing tilted and uh, you know this whole process uh, becomes a little scary. Anyhow, starting the engine. So like I said, we are going to make sure that the uh, temperature gauge on the vehicle is operating temperature. Um, for that, we'll have to leave it idle for a bit. So we're going to leave that idle and I will be right back. So now the vehicle is at the operating temperature. So we're going to go ahead and turn that off. It's kind of a tricky spot. Honestly, that's one thing I hate about Hondas. Their dipstick funnels, everything, or not funnels, but um, the old cap. I just, I just find that it's really, uh, it's not conveniently placed. Over here, we're gonna put the uh, Liquid Molly engine flush. So we're gonna go ahead and pour that in and then we'll start the vehicle once again. Okay, put the cap back on. I wouldn't recommend though to use engine flush often. Um, I, I honestly, maybe once every year or two uh, just because uh, these these are chemicals and they will decrease the uh, the sealing of your piston rings. Do not do this every month, um, but I would definitely recommend it at least once a year. That's there's no harm. We're gonna go ahead and uh, start it up. Um, that's the drain plug that you'll wanna remove. And that is a 17 mil drain plug, and. Uh, Basically, you'll loose it up and then drain it. Okay, so I cracked the bolt. I'm gonna go ahead and drain the oil pan. Now I should be um, cracking the oil filter, but unfortunately, can't and I don't want to make too much of a big mess in my garage so I will wait until that is empty and then I'll move the pan and then remove the oil filter. Oh, I think that was a bit of sludge right there that just dropped. Leave the drain plug out because I'm also going to flush through uh, some oil. It doesn't matter what kind of oil as long as you flush it through. I'm going to be flushing it through with 5W30 even though this vehicle recommends 5W20 but I had that uh, oil just sitting on the shelf in my garage, so I might as well use it and uh, flush through the engine, make sure it's nice and clean, and then let drain all the oil out from the oil pan and we'll plug her up and then continue on with the oil change. Here, that's the oil filter. I have to remove this and then I'll replace it with a Bosch oil filter. Oh, I got my oil filter tool. I've already cracked this oil filter open, but this oil filter is actually ridiculously tight. All right. Am I going to get this one day? All right, you see? It just cracked. That's ridiculous. At least I got it. Now I'm just going to go ahead and unscrew the oil filter. Definitely clean the base of where the uh, the the seal of the oil filter. You want to have that clean. You definitely don't want any debris uh, because then that'll affect your seal and then you might have some more leak. So just make sure that's wiped nicely with a clean rag or a clean uh, shop towel like I have here. And so that's pretty much good. I'm going to go ahead and flush the vehicle. Look at that, it's nice and clear. So now we're gonna install the uh, 
oil filter. Bosch 3323 uh, premium oil filter. Um, this is for the 2009 Honda Pilot currently uh, servicing, uh, which is my own personal vehicle as well. So there you are, you have the oil filter over here. Now what you can do here, um, I still have the drain plug that's out, so I still got a little bit of oil there that's still dripping. So I'm gonna use that oil, and then I'm just gonna lubricate the O-ring, right? That's right around the uh, oil filter. And then reinstall the oil filter. Sometimes it can be a little tricky just to get the thread, but just take your time and then you'll get it. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna hand tight it. And then just like hand tight it, but without forcing, okay? So this is pretty much, you know, hand tight without force. And now the next thing what I'm gonna do is about a uh, quarter of a turn, maybe just a little bit more, and then that's it. So once we fill the engine with oil, um, and we have the oil filter in there and the oil cap is back on there. We're gonna do a startup test rev it up to 2200 rpm If the oil doesn't leak we are good. We're gonna install the new drain plug with the magnetic tip uh, Again, I'm installing this drain plug because I want to find out if this engine is actually shaving off any metal So hopefully not, but uh, we'll see in about uh, 5,000 kilometers. Let's go ahead and install this Now again, take your time when you install this. Do not rush. And now I believe this takes a 13 millimeter. Got it over here. Again, same thing with the oil filter. You know, do not over tighten it. Now I am gonna torque it by just doing a quarter turn. That's good enough, maybe just a little more. Okay, we're gonna go back up and uh, put the oil inside the engine. Okay, so the challenges I faced earlier is, um, so look at the uh, oil funnel. Basically, I, it really does not give me a lot of room here to actually put my oil in. Um, so I'm definitely gonna shop around for a funnel and get the proper one because this is, uh, I made quite a big mess, try to fill it up. And I'll definitely have to clean inside here uh, because there, there's a lot of oil that leaked down there. And uh, that's my bad. And obviously lesson learned. Let's carry on. I failed to mention that uh, the vehicle takes 4.3 liters. Okay, the spout is out. As you can see, uh, you got this nice little spout. I actually really like this feature from Likomali. I believe all manufacturers should do that to their uh, oil bottles. Other than that, hopefully that'll be a little better to try and pour this thing inside here. Just wanted to show you how it's actually coming out of that spout. Very controlled, really nice. Love this feature. This is making this process a lot easier for me. All right, so I'm all done. Um, basically, I filled up about 4.3 and uh, I'm, I'm probably almost dead on there, the 4.3 inside the engine. I'm now going to put the old cap back on, nice and tight and uh, we're gonna be doing a RPM test just to make sure that uh, we've got no leaks. So now I, I know for a fact that I've tightened the oil filter, I've tightened the drain plug and the oil caps back on. Um, I've done this for many years and I've, I've done thousands of oil changes. I know everything's back on there tightly. I am not worried, but for you guys, I would definitely recommend to double check everything before you even start the vehicle, just because you, you definitely want to avoid, uh, you know, a big oil mess or possible uh, engine damage. Okay, so let's go ahead and start her up. Everything looks good. So now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take a look underneath the vehicle. We've got the drain plug. I don't see any leaks over here. No drips of oil, no signs of any oil. Um, over here, the uh, oil filter is good. There's no oil coming around the perimeter of the oil filter. And now we're gonna be doing a 2200 RPM uh, test.
Okay, so we brought the vehicle back down to a leveled surface. I removed the safety stands as well as uh, uh, make sure everything is nice and clean. And now for the moment of truth, um, I'm gonna take a look at the oil level. Make sure that we do have a proper oil level. And as you can see, <laughs> I got it dead on. That will be the end of the, this uh, video today, guys. Um, if you guys are interested in getting the same products as I got uh, to do this oil change on my vehicle, I will leave a link down in the description below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. This will be concluding today's oil change and today's review on the products that I've used with Liquid Molly, Bosch Filter, and as well as a magnetic drain plug. Uh, thanks for looking at my video, guys, and I'll see you next time.